It was actually the vaporweight program that caught the attention of the uh, Army Corps of Engineers, Colonel Pantano, who is the district commander down in the Jacksonville district. And uh, he contacted the dog program to see if they could train dogs to do pythons. And it turned out that they already had a program, Eco Dogs, to look for ecological targets. And so one thing led to another, and then I was brought in on the project. Well, first we started out, we, uh, we imprinted the dogs on uh, the odor of the pythons, rubbed from various areas of the snake. We used coffee filters to wipe down the snakes, um, females, males, all different size ranges. And uh, we imprinted the dogs on that. And then we went to Gainesville, the USDA facility, and transitioned to snakes in a bag from that. And then when we got to the Everglades, we transitioned from snakes in the bags to radio tag snakes out in the open. They have tracked about 19 snakes. Uh, one did get away, but the dog tracked it all the way to where it was, and uh, we, the snake handlers, were not quick enough to catch it. And so that was the only snake that actually got away from us. So 20 in all that we've been able to see, uh, 19 were captured. This was different because in all the other projects, our uh, target has been sitting still. So <laughs> these things are not necessarily sitting still. You have to be careful when you do catch a snake. Anything larger than about 10 feet is, it can be a little cumbersome to catch. And so typically what you do is you try to get the snake out in the open so that you see where it is. Um, a lot of times we don't get that opportunity, but the main idea is to just tr make sure that you grab its head so that it can't turn around and bite you. And then you put it in a bag and uh, take it down to Everglades National Park. <laughs> to the biologist, main biologist there, who is in charge of doing all the necropsies and things like that there. Uh, all the different type of uh, variables involved, uh, terrain, uh, heat, humidity, uh, alligators, uh, poisonous snakes. So we had to condition these dogs to do a lot of different things. Dogs just wasn't running around hunting. The dog had to stay a certain distance from the canal edge. And the dogs actually taught themselves how to track the python. Jake actually did. He found two tracking. So it was just fun to watch them he, he taught me at, towards the end, you know. He, he learned what he was looking for and he was showing me that, hey, I can also send them on the ground and track them down this way. So it, it was pretty cool. And we got to catch a snake, so it was, it was exciting at the end when you found one. It's really hard for people to find snakes. Um, we've been doing this for several years, trying to find the snakes, and it's really hard to do. They're very cryptic, they're under your feet, you could be standing on top of them, you don't know. And it was just amazing that we could be standing there, the dog is telling us that the snake is there, and we don't know that. We have to sit there and dig to see if we can find it. And so it was a really exciting project because it allowed us to get a lot more snakes than we might have if it was just us. And just really interesting to see how this type of tool could really be uh, used.